Yup, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What follows is a tale of heartbreak and loss, but also a tale of passion, hope, and triumph. You see, back in April, Pokemon Go did something wild. They added biomes to the game that would affect where Pokemon spawn. On top of that, they added a new Pokemon, Wiglet, to highlight the new feature. This guy would only show up in beach biomes. Cool. Board players have been asking for years to reward exploration with different spawns. Soon after the update, lots of players started easily finding Wiglet on their local beaches. There's just one problem. There ain't no beaches here. Well, okay. There's this one. This tiny one. And this beach happens to be in a conservation area that charges for entry. Now I know what you're thinking. Mr. Pokédex, golf courses are secretly beaches. First of all, it's Dr. Pokédex to you. But yeah, I saw that too. Should be easy, right? There are plenty of golf courses in town. Forget the conservation area and admission price. We've got this covered. So I go to one. Almost run out of gas, too. But I find lots of beach biome. Golf courses are secretly beaches, I guess. Let's have a look. There's plenty of sandy background. A few friends show up. But I'm not that hopeful for my ultimate prize. There's no sign of that beautiful eggplant-shaped silhouette on the radar. I do see my first Galarian Articuno in literal years. Probably should use a Master Ball for this guy. But I want content for the channel. Instead, I get nothing. Hubris is a heck of a drug. Hopefully my search for Wiglet is more successful. Well, I wander around for quite a while and no Wiglet. No problem. It's supposed to be a rare spawn. I'll try again later. My tank is just about empty. I have to fill up. This is a more expensive video than I thought. Like and subscribe. This quest is a little more epic than I anticipated. Also have to break out the emergency snacks. Okay, fine. This is already expensive enough. Let's just go to the real beach and check it out. I pay for entry, find the closest open parking lot, and head to the beach. I crest the hill and see a beautiful view of the Laurel Creek Reservoir. I'm full of hope. Only to promptly walk through a giant mud pit and ruin my shoes. Like and subscribe. But I'm at the beach. The spawns have the beach background. Perhaps here, at this abandoned beach covered by the poop of angry geese, my salvation will be found. Unfortunately though, there's no Wiglet, and no sign of it on my radar either. Did I just waste my money and time coming here? Determined to find Wiglet, I keep looking and get lost in the conservation area. I didn't bother looking at OpenStreetMap before coming here, and don't realize that that tiny beach is really all there is. I thought for sure on this large reservoir that there would be more than a tiny strip of beach, but there definitely isn't. Karma seems to be on my side, because I accidentally get an excellent on a jumping execute. That's basically winning the lottery. Too bad I bought tickets to the wrong lottery. I finally find my way back to the parking lot, a little demoralized. I see a Vulpix on the way out, which is cool I guess. I didn't know they were spawning right now. Wrong lottery again. Time to stop for the day and regroup. A new day dawns. I no longer assume this will be easy and do some research beyond golf courses are secretly beaches. I finally look at OpenStreetMap myself, and search for beaches on Overpass Turbo using the handy instructions in this Reddit post. This helps confirm what I already guessed. The beach in the conservation area is the only one in my entire area. I'd have to drive an hour away to find another, and the candidates aren't that promising. Besides, that feels like cheating. But that's a bit confusing. Why does this query not find the golf courses? I do some experimentation and reading and find that the query is missing the sand type. When you add this, golf courses light up like a Christmas tree. Besides those, I notice that the local Waterloo Park also has some sand. I've gone there for community days before, so I think it has a lot of spawns. I make that my next destination. It's overcast and chilly, but I'm hopeful and brave the mild elements. I make my way to the beach and find absolutely nothing. There are zero spawns in the sand area near the lake. Thanks, Niantic. I decide to use a daily incense and spend the next 15 minutes walking up and down the beach. The Pokemon are on the beach background, but no sign of Wiglet. 
Time to head to another golf course, I guess. This one is even worse than the first. Most of the beach biome areas are not accessible unless you golf. Although I wander around the periphery, there's nothing on my radar, so I don't bother thinking about sneaking in for a catch. Demoralized, I give up. I post a plea on my local Discord. Has anyone at all seen a Wiglet locally? Someone posts that one has previously been spotted at the Laurel Creek Beach, the same beach I visited earlier. So there is hope, but it still costs for every entry. On Google Maps, it looks like the beach is accessible by foot using a trail. If I park nearby, it looks like I can enter for free. I estimate it will take me 20 plus minutes to get there with this method. It should be enough if someone sees a spawn early, but only barely. In Pokemon Go, wild spawns last for either 30 or 60 minutes. I ask for tips on Discord when a Wiglet appears on the beach, and then wait. I've spent enough time randomly looking around. Besides that, I learned that it seems like Wiglet doesn't spawn on sand at all. The golf courses and sand beach at Waterloo Park might be dead ends. The tiny beach at Laurel Creek is my only hope. Finally, I get a tip from Discord about a Wiglet at the beach. It's my chance. I hop in my car and drive to the closest parking lot. I realize my time might be running out, so I start to run. Will I make it? To my dismay, the trail that I thought would lead straight to the beach is blocked with a no trespassing sign. For the first time ever, I see the silhouette of Wiglet on my radar. So close, and yet so far. It would be right over there. I return home. Next time, I'll have to take the hit and pay the admission fee. But hey, at least the setback makes this video more interesting. Then, finally, it seems that my moment has come. In the middle of the day, I receive a second tip from Discord that a Wiglet has been spotted at the beach. Without a second thought, I leap up and head out the door. I seemingly hit every red light on the way as time ticks away. I pay again to enter the park and make my way through its twists and turns at a responsible speed. The beach parking lot is now open, so I can at least park close. I head to the beach and open Pokemon Go. My heart pounds as I see it, the object of my hunt for these last weeks. The first biome exclusive Pokemon in a biome of which my city has virtually none. Wiglet. I tap it and freeze for a moment. This is my chance to live up to the name of the excellent Pokedex. If I miss this throw and Wiglet flees, what will this all have been for? I carefully aim my throw and let go, physically and spiritually. For a moment, time seems to stand still. The beautiful day and the gentle breeze off the reservoir contrast jarringly with the knot of anticipation and dread in my stomach. And then it lands. The words that define this channel begin to rise, and the Pokémon is successfully trapped in my Pokéball. An excellent throw, and a quest ended. A quest far more epic than originally intended. I could have driven somewhere else with more beaches and done this far more easily. And why didn't I? Perhaps I felt compelled to live up to the promise of this update. An update that provided an actual reason to explore diverse parts of our world to find different Pokémon. Perhaps I was after content. Perhaps I wanted to feel as I did in this moment. A journey completed, justifying the effort made along the way. The twists and turns that fate provides are, after all, what makes life more than just a sad and predictable march toward the long dark. Thanks for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed this episode of the excellent Pokédex, please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.